Four years ago, the first check came in the mail. I deposited it in my bank account. And the next one, and the next one, and the one after that. And every month after that, I check it in the mail, made out to me. I thought for a long time what I should spend it on. Nothing seemed right. When I was 15 years old, my father came home from work in the evening and made me soup. I was sitting in the kitchen eating the soup and my father was looking at me. He started to tell me his life history. For the first time in my life, I heard that my father was deporty. When he was seven years old, he and his mother were taken from home at night and brought to the railway station. Many people were taken by animal carriage, as well my father's family too. He remembered that at first, for him and for the other children, it was fun and exciting getting to travel and go to new place. They didn't know why all the adults were crying. They were all taken from their small village and shipped to Siberia. It was almost 20 years before he could come back again. I was raised in the same small town where he was raised and I remember looking at my father that evening and then couldn't believe what he was telling me. All the time my father was crying like a little child, but I didn't. It was the first and the last time he ever talked about this. When he died, four years ago, we buried him in the same small village where he grew up. It was a simple grave, and the service was lovely, but I didn't cry. He deserved more. So when the checks came, I put them in my bank account until I had enough to buy him the pens of Christ. We had a second ceremony and went back to his grave. That time I cried. But still the checks come every month. I'm writing a book about my family roots. The book will be dedicated to my father.